Welcome back to Cool Borders 2001. I'm Insetic, with me is Blank Tester. Hey kids, how's it going? And today, we are going to the first hey, CBX event, Cool Border Cross. So you see that with Replay, we played all of the, uh, all of the hey, half pipe and big air events, and we basically got four points in him for I'm jumping. So good. he's got like max jumping. But we've also unlocked some pros, and as you go on in the game and unlock people, they just get better stats than the people you had at the start. So it's like, it's not worth it to pick someone at the start and try to stick with them and give them a bunch of points. I mean, I guess you can, but there's no downside to just picking better people as you unlock them. But all right, you've been waiting for the real extreme. Here we are, these CBX events throw wild levels at you with a bunch of shortcuts, a bunch of differing paths, and a bunch of things to dodge. And it's like a, it's like that show Wipeout, sort of, but on snowboards. So this is, this is where the, the coolness of the game really shines, I think, in these, in these level designs. Uh, of course, the uh, physics fights that. Yeah. <laughs> you know, ambitiously that... awkward, as I described it. Mm -hmm. um, Me. Like, M3. Me. Yeah. Me. But yeah, you take the shortcuts, and... I don't know, I didn't really talk about the HUD, but the HUD is pretty, pretty average, pretty standard. On the left, you have sort of a amount of progression, you know, how far you are in the level, you versus the other three racers. Oh, I on forgot the, about this level. On the bottom right is is a spring that kind of shows you how much you've loaded your jump. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's all coming back to you now. Ugh. The, I forgot about how many like, obstacles. <laughs> Even the AI's like, ugh. You know, that's, that's kind of good that the AI does struggle with the course. And in the racing events... The AI will jump off of a jump and do a sick trick and, like, land awkwardly and lose some time having to get back up to speed. They don't play perfect, and I appreciate that, actually. Do you think they're recordings? Or is it AI? Ah, uh, I don't know. I can't answer that. Well, how you... badly can you crash them? Like, can you go up to them and punch them in the face and get them to, like, really mess up? Because if no, you can get them to really mess really. up, they're probably AI. No, not really. I mean, I you can push them if if the moon and the stars align right. Yeah. Again, actually pushing them is pretty hard, but they do always seem to get right back on you. Mm. Or you notice green over there on the right. Yeah. I'm sorry, on the left, green has fallen way behind. We are the orange dot on the very left, but. All right, now we're here dodging dodgeballs. How do these can... dodgeballs move around in the snow like this? Uh, I try not to think about things like that. Neither did they. But anyway, you know, to bring up a classic movie quote, if you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. So we're just going to take a little shortcut of our own right there. And, if you can uh, dodge a hill, you can dodge a ball. A ball, yeah. So... Speed to the end, we've unlocked, well, we've unlocked another challenge event, and we got some stats for this specific rider. We unlocked the coin line challenge, and we will actually be doing that in this video as well. I like how, I haven't pointed it out yet, I like how the menu comes into kind of the replay of whatever you just did, and it, it feels like a precursor to kind of what the game Amped 2 did where everything stays very connected, like, if only the music continued. It kind of is a sudden jarring shift when you go to select event and the music stops, because with the amount that the menu just came in while the music and your replay was going, you know, it's like it feels very connected and then suddenly feels very not. Yeah. Um, whereas in Amped 2, it literally keeps the music track going no matter what. Like, even while loading, if you haven't seen that game, you can be playing a level, riding around, quit that level, go out to the main menu, change stuff about your rider, go to another level, and just the music will continue. And it really makes it feel like 
an awesome experience. I'm advertising a completely different game in the Let's Play for Cool Blurs 2001. But, all right, Coin Line, the challenge Coin Line is over this same map, this Fissure CBX, and there are basically these coins scattered throughout, and you have to race another rider and win, beat them in the race while collecting 150 coins. And if the other rider gets to some coins before you, he takes them. So you want to get out immediately and stay ahead. And once again, ambitiously awkward. I like the idea, but often there's coins that are just above your person and you can't really jump up to get them. Or it's a very specific line you have to take. Like instead of placing coins all over so you could basically take whatever line, they basically force you to take a specific line to get any coins at all. Like, you saw a whole bunch of shortcuts off to the left side of this track that I couldn't take because there were no coins on that entire tr path. Because they're all over here in this big drop in, in the mineshaft, <laughs> you know? Yeah. But, you know, as much as I struggled with this the first time, pretty much second time around I knew what to do. I just picked a rider that was kind of fast, and I just raced the coin line. Get, yeah, but you see all those coins that are, like, above you on a place with no jumps. Yeah, it's kind of weird. It's super weird. I don't know. But you just... You just need to get more than the other guy, though, so... No, you just need to get 150 and beat him. Oh, okay. You're not so, trying to beat him in coins. You're trying to beat him in time and also collect 150. Oh, I see. Okay. So, you know, there's more than enough along the path. It's a little weird, though, that there are paths that have just no coins. Yeah, yeah. Like, I, I would have expected it to be, like, a bunch of different paths that have coins. And if you see someone going down one path, you kind of take a different path. But yeah, you pass that, you get the other the other CBX event, you get two pro riders, and you get another uh, newbie, or whatever they call them, you know, regular riders. But uh, we're going to wrap back around, so next video will actually be about the Helios drop, gate race, and then again you'll have to explore that same Helios drop area, trick and find uh, the sequences as well. So that will be next time on Cool Borders 2001.